Hey guys, Ricardo here. Welcome to the Blog Tech Tips. And of course, today, guys, I'm gonna look at how to back up and recover all WhatsApp messages. Or more keenly, I'll be showing you the first step how to back up your messages and then, of course, how to recover said old messages. This can be great in cases where, for example, your device basically crashed and you can actually restore or in other cases they might be that you're moving to a new device and you want your messages to move along with you or maybe you need to wipe your device and of course all your precious messages are currently on this particular device that will be erased as soon as you carry out that process so whatever the, the reason is i'll show you how to recover your old whatsapp messages quite easily now first thing you want to do guys is and of course i'll show you right here if I launch WhatsApp, you can see my messages and you'll notice I have a few of them. So the first thing you want to do, guys, while you're here is to stop on the three dots up or right. And this is Android. You're going to go to settings. Once in settings, next, you're going to go to. You're going to go to chats. And once you tap on chats, guys, go to chat backup. And once you're in here, you'll notice that you should have your Gmail account associated. Because this feature actually uses Google Drive to back up your settings and it will keep your latest settings. You can also look at the size of the backup itself and the time and so on. So just go ahead and tap um, backup. But before you do any other, make sure that you are connected to the internet. So let me just go ahead and connect to the internet before I go ahead and do this. I'm just going to go back. And once you're connected to the internet, just make sure you're online. You can just go ahead and tap backup and you notice the process is being carried out right now and you see that it says preparing google drive for backup and it's actually going to the backup process and this will be dependent on the speed of your internet so for slow internet it will take a while for faster connections it will take less time and of course with a decent fast connection it shouldn't take too long as you're seeing here my connection is not bad so it's about 56 percent and this is the uploading portion, 73. It's all about finished now. And you'll know the process is finished when you no longer see any on-screen movements or so on. And it's at 99 and it should finish right about now. And there's a 100%, I'm just gonna wait until it completely clears. And there you go. Notice now it's completed as there's no option anymore showing any activity. Now that we have made the latest backup, it has taken check of everything I have on the device. Now in this case, if I was going to go ahead and do something like format my device or wipe the cache or wipe the entire device, or if I was going to transfer to a new phone like remove over the SIM over to the new device, I'll do that now. Now, of course, if you're going to be on the same device, you're going to settings. Once you're in settings, of course, you're going to go down to apps. Once in apps around here, you're going to wait until it loads. Then you're going to search for WhatsApp. It should be to the bottom of the list somewhat. And right there, you'll see WhatsApp. Go ahead, select WhatsApp. And from here, you can uninstall the app. But that's kind of extreme. Only do that if you have no other option. So uninstall, and then you'll go back to the Play Store and install the app afresh. But of course, a quick shortcut would be to go to storage. Once you're in storage, you have the option to clear cache, clear data. We're just going to go ahead and clear the data. And of course, it says, be warned that uh, um, this is going to basically delete um, your data permanently. But do not worry, we have already made a backup. So we're just going to hit delete. And of course, if I close, still connected to the internet. If I try to launch, you'll notice now it is basically back at this familiar screen. But you normally see when you're first launching your device so i just go ahead and agree and continue and of course it will ask that to connect with friends it will need access you just go ahead and grant it any access so let's go ahead and hit continue and i'm gonna hit allow and for any permission that they ask i'm just gonna hit allow now from here you're gonna enter your phone number and hit next so i'm gonna do that off screen and as you can see here guys, I have basically hit next and the verification code has basically come in. And what's been happening here is that it was sent and the phone automatically detects the text with the backup code. 
so you don't have to actually manually enter the code and of course it says backup phone it says three minutes ago a backup was made and of course that was the manual backup that we did so you're just gonna go ahead right here and of course you're gonna hit restore down here if you skip you'll lose all your data so you'll need to restore so just go ahead and restore and you'll notice here the process shows that everything is um, being transferred over and as you saw a while ago it just did all of that 109 megabytes which is quite decent file size we hit next and here we go it shows my um, profile picture I had before the only thing is guys it will just ask you to re-enter your username that you had before so let's go ahead and type in your username and of course once I've entered my username I'm just gonna hit next and of course it says initializing and initializing process is basically the device just organizing and downloading and unpacking everything but do not worry guys as you can see here it has started and it's basically reminding you of any messages and so on that you have unopened and, and so forth but as you can see guys my messages have returned and everything is being uh, populated and of course if you go in any message and see that it's still downloading do not work let's give it a little while it will then repopulate everything so as you can see guys i've just shown you how to do a backup and then i showed you how to recover your old whatsapp messages using these simple techniques all right guys so i'm just going to close this out and of course guys ricardo gardner from black tech tips showing you how to recover old whatsapp messages using the whatsapp application if you have any questions along with anything to input please go ahead and use the comment section below guys so it's ricardo from black tech tips saying bye until next time bye